So uh, the NFL is over. The NFL season is over. And now the offseason begins, and now you start to have mock drafts and all that. One of the notes that the Rams have to deal with, how much do you guys, and this is a short segment until we hit 4 o'clock with Jason, how much do you believe that Aaron Donald or Sean McVay will truly contemplate walking away now that they have a ring? Aaron, 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 I almost combined them together. Aaron Donald has $87 million guaranteed left on that deal. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think that maybe it was a big deal to him, like to be able to go out that way. I mean, they, you get two guys, you get to watch Whitworth and Weddle walk out with a ring in their, their last game ever. And, and maybe you see that and get a little romantic for it. You know, his uh, Aaron Donald's a big family guy. You saw him out there with his daughter, uh, was really great. And look, Sean McVay is 36 years old. And it's kind of already done what you set out to do. He's made a bunch of money. He could go into TV for three or four years and then wait for another job to come open and, and, and have another project. And part of that might just be that the realization in the Rams is that they've mortgaged their future. And a lot of these guys are on one-year deals. I mean, Odell Beckham Jr. tore his ACL last night. Is he coming back? You know, what do you do with the salary cap? How do you make all this work? How do you get some of these guys back? Is it realistic that the Rams are going to make another run? Or if you're Sean McVay, do you say like, you know what? I'm happy right now. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I don't think it's realistic for either of them, but it's interesting that it's come up. I definitely think it's realistic for Aaron Donald. Um, I don't know uh, if you could end your career on a better possible note than what he did. I mean, it's not even just a Super Bowl. It's the play he made at the end of the game. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. like, are you going to top that? Um, you've been playing all this time to win this game, and it's all been about the Super Bowl for Aaron Donald and nothing else. So now that you've accomplished that, I mean, I, I don't really know what else he has left to do. Uh, I mean, what's he, what's he going to do other than just he loves playing the game? Uh, as far as Sean McVay goes, I mean, the dude's not even near in 40, really. He's on the other side of 30, but he's still – four years away from the, the you know, over the hill mark. I, I just, what's he going to do for, I, I, I just, I don't know. I'm with you and like, he's not going to have a better table setting than he had this year. And he got very fortunate that he's a part of an organization that put it together the way that they did for him, because that's not going to be the norm for the rest of his career. Um, so if you want to avoid having to maybe have your name, take a little bit of a beating in the next few years, because you're not as good as you were or whatever, um, you want to avoid that and just go out on top, then sure. But, I mean, at 36 years old, what are you really going to do? I mean, yeah, you could join TV, I guess, but you're going to do that for the next 30 years? I don't know. I don't, I don't think you're 36 and you're just done with coaching. I, I, I have a His hard time believing that. His entire family has been involved in football. His dad yeah, was a, just, a guy that helped uh, create the 49ers legacy. Maybe he doesn't want to be a head coach, but he's not going to be out of football. And, and I don't think TV's – really the move right now i don't know though i mean i don't I don't know what his thought process is he could be a guy that once he got a super bowl he's, he's ready to not deal with the stress anymore for all i know but aaron donald definitely i would not be surprised one bit to see him uh announce his retirement and uh you know he would be an, a certain hall of famer uh early ballot i would imagine as well if not first ballot so um yeah we'll see what happens but uh, that's going to be a couple of big decisions being made 98 sacks in eight years he had 20 and a half in 2018 uh, he's an amazing player. His motor is uh, unbelievable, and he made the play. And I'm telling you, even then, Joe Burrow with a bad leg being dragged down to the ground by Donald even got off kind of a just a kind of a over the shoulder throw. Samaji P. Ryan was another yard or two closer. That would have extended the drive, and and who knows what would have happened. And, and there's a lot of guys fighting, scratching, going down as much as they could. But Aaron Donald, uh, I remember when he first burst onto the scene coming out of Pittsburgh, and then I was like, yeah, who's this guy? And then I started being able to watch him more often, and he is, uh, he is unbelievable. They're the number four seed. The Rams were the number four seed. What were the Bengals? Off the top of my head, I don't remember. Number yeah. four seed. You fight all year long. You, you, you go and try to get as many wins as you can in the win column so that you get the host playoff games. And the Bengals went to Nashville and beat the Titans. They go to Kansas City and beat the Chiefs, right? Mm-hmm. And um, the number four seed plays the number four seed. And you fight. I mean, that's why you want the number one seed to play games at home. But this year, it didn't matter. Two teams that got hot. And the Rams win the championship. I, uh, uh, how many teams have now? And they were uh, the Rams used to be known as a franchise. I'm talking Super Bowl era that were always close but couldn't get in. They lost to the Vikings or they lose to the Cowboys or whoever. 
And, and then they had a team that went to the Super Bowl and lost to the great Steelers dynasty with Vince Ferragamo as their quarterback. And I think John Malvasi, or I don't, I can't remember, Ray Malvasi might have been the coach. Then it was a long drought. And then all of a sudden, here comes Kurt Warner and Dick Vermeil. And even then they lost a game to the Adam Benatari and, a, and here upstart Bill Belichick and a guy named Brady. They now have three Super Bowl wins. They have been in the Super Bowl in the 70s. They played in a Super Bowl in the, were they in the 80s? I don't think so. I don't think so. I always think of, I always think, you know, how bad the Rams were in the 80s. I always think of the 49ers clip. You remember the same old sorry-ass Rams? Yeah. Because <laughs> that they, they were so bad for a long time. I think that's why uh, they were able to be absconded away to St. Louis. Yeah, now they, they, they lost to Pittsburgh, to the dynasty team, when they actually had reinvented themselves. They were more of an offensive team with Stallworth and, and Swan with Terry Bradshaw throwing the ball a lot after the great defensive teams in the early part of the 70s. And then they lost again to, um, to Vinatieri and, and Brady and Belichick. And then it was recently when Jared Goff took them to a Super Bowl and they lost. So they've been kind of resilient, but they now have uh, those three the, those rings and – how about Von Miller? He gets another one. Talk mm -hmm. about a guy who was already headed to Canton, Ohio at some point. Now he's got rings with two different teams. Well, and, and a free free agent as well. That's that's why you kind of get him with the Rams. Like you start wondering, you know, what's the future? But they did it and it worked. They did it. They less need teed it up. They did it. It worked. Uh, and you know, now that they they probably have a, a, a nice short term, but there's some some pieces that are going to be gone, and they're not going to be able to replace them with draft picks because they don't have a lot. But was worth it um, to get the Super Bowl title. I mean, when you go that long without being in the Super Bowl. Yeah, and, and for the longest time, again, they were always the team, yeah, but, and now they win it. Coming up next, Jason King. What